Hello, hello everybody. This is Landy Lee here. Welcome to our channel. Today, I want to talk about the 10 things I don't like about Queretaro, Mexico. For people who already know us, me, my husband Roddy, and our son Louis moved to Queretaro, Mexico in 2021, February. We lived there for over one and a half years. Now, we are temporarily back to Houston for our business and are we going back to Mexico? Yes, we're still going back there. Our house is still there. We go back to vacation for other things. So, and we are still going to make valuable content for you guys. So let's get it started today. The number one thing is Queletalo is not very green. And we all know it's in the desert landscaping area. So of course you don't expect it as green as like a beautiful city Molelia or Ahihik. So it's less green. It still has its green, especially in those raining days, rainy season. But other days it's kind of dried up, not as green. So remember that part. And number two, the food. I love food, you guys love food, but don't expect so much about the food offering in Geledalo. Don't get me wrong, there are good restaurants there, sure, we have our favorite restaurants there. But just talk about the flavor. We had some experience with some taco, it's just flavorless. There's no salt at all. It, I don't understand if that is style there. We went to Mercado, had some tacos. We went to a few places and we found that the tacos are just no salt. They give, put you the salt and you put it to your, for yourselves. They put all the seasoning there. So they offer you the taco with the meat, like no flavor. And another thing is we try, I love Mexican food like manudo, bazole, maybe just I don't have good luck. So far we tried a few places, it's all like, hmm, it's okay. Compared to the manudo I had in Houston, it's but much better. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, maybe just me. And But we also heard other people talk about the food. It's, it doesn't offer you variety of food choices, if you are a big fan for international food, yeah, there are choices there. Sure, Italian food, Thai food, Indian food, Chinese food. But it's compared to a big city, it's still very limited. And so far, I only found one Chinese restaurant here. I like other places are was okay. And they are also very pricey. Number three things I want to talk about the central. When you come to Geletalo, Mexico, of course you're going to explore the central, but live there or not, that's your choice then. Because living in the central, you're going to experience those narrow streets and randomly there are some crack parts and there are some holes there. You're really going to watch your steps. And Especially when I move here with a baby with a stroller, it's a nightmare. I even bought a smaller one as the road streets are really narrow. And of course in the central, not only in Geledalo, generally in Mexico, most central are very loud, full of church bells, random fireworks. So that's something bothers me as I'm a very sensitive person. So in the end, I choose to move outside of Geledalo. So find myself some peaceful time. And then another thing in the central is the plazas. Yes, there are many beautiful plazas in Geletalo Central. Don't get me wrong, I love those plazas. We took many videos about it. You can find it in our previous videos. But the thing is, all the plazas are pretty small compared to some other cities. Of course, you say you compare to Guadalajara, it's a big city. Yeah, but also like in Molelia, those plazas are big, are massive. And also the pedestrian streets there are big. There is a commercial street in Galitalo, but it's also pretty short, pretty small scale compared to like other cities. <laughs> sure. Yeah, th so that's something bothers me a little bit after living there. I'm looking for some a little bit bigger scale, bigger plaza, everything a little bit big. Yeah, it's a still a small town, but compared to San Miguel de Allende, it's still bigger. Number four, the random wind. Yeah, that bothers me a bit. Sometimes, it's not every day, it's not every day. Most of the times are fine, but it's sometimes just windy. Because of the high above sea level, so the random wind just come. 
when I was living in the central, it's still okay. But now I moved to outside the Galeta Low. And in our neighborhood, there are still new construction going on. So once the heavy wind come, that's a nightmare. We, I, I saw the dust everywhere. It's a, like a sandstorm. And I saw people complain. They bought a house there. They're still, they keep wiping the window. It's just got a dusty every day. And yeah, it's a, for, for some days, we want to take a walk after lunch. And when I, once I saw the dusty around, oh no, forget, forget about it. Number five I don't like about it, it's the high sun radiation. Because Galedalo sits on the very high above sea level, that's how the sun is super, super strong. So that makes my lovely skin very dry. I have to put on the lotion every night or some oil. Um, and also I feel my eyes go to dry very often. I don't know, it's because I look at a computer for too long or just the air. And also my nose, a few times it's just randomly, I saw the blood, it was bleeding pretty bad. So that's something about the dryness in the air. That's for something for us. If you move to Galeta Low, put on the sun lotion, even the daily sun lotion for my face. You know, if you go out, put on some long sleeve or at least a hat. That's why hats are so popular there. So you need a hat. You need to cover your face. Next thing is about the temperature changing. You know, in Galeta Low, during the morning, it's very chilly. And then it's a warm up by 10, 11, 12, until 2, 3 o'clock. That can be the hottest time in the day. And later on, by 5, 6, 7, and when it's getting dark, it's getting cooler again. Sometimes it's the wind just come in the evenings. That's something we need to consider, especially I have a young kid. When it's getting cooler, chilly in the evening, then after daycare, we need to stay at home instead of take him out for a walk. Just don't want to get him sick again and again. And so if you go out in the morning, people put on jacket, then during the day, just take it off. So that's something new to me. Another thing I really want to talk about is the Uber. We have Uber, Uber, whatever you call that. The Uber here in Queletalo, maybe not just in Queletalo, maybe it's a Mexican thing. People just stood us up many times. We had a bad experience at the beginning before we buying our car. And we stand there in the central with our little one stroller. We saw on the phone, he's just one minute away and all of a sudden he canceled on us. Okay. And we've been standing there for 10 minutes with the little one. Finally it come and he just canceled. He changed his mind. He has a party to go to. I don't know what's going on. His girlfriend is calling him. So, and another time is we were outside and the, and, and it happened to us a few times and we were waiting for the Uber. Another time was just, we saw the Uber was passing by us and we were even waving to him and, and, and he just drove away. Maybe he saw the stroller. He hates stroller. He doesn't want to help us. I don't get it. Okay. There's no excuse. And a, we couldn't even get, give him a bad comment. That's how it is because you are not his real client yet. That's how the system works. So we give up on that. So if you are in Galeta Low or you're in Mexico somewhere, just be aware of that. The next thing is finding a rental property. You know, before we become resident, it's so hard. When we lived in the center, we luckily finally found the property. But before that, it was just so difficult. You know, we talked to different property owners. They say, no, you're a resident. We don't do that. And we know it's not every place is like that. Okay. So Galetalo is not a foreigner. How to say it? Galetalo has its own restriction for the lease. For anyone you are not a resident, you need to do many other paperwork. They have uh, some insurance paper, which they, you have to go through that. Even sometimes you say, let me offer you six months rent, one year, triple deposit. 
No, in the end, they say no to you. It's just a very frustrating situation if you are not the residents. That's also another reason we bought our house, as we were we want to rent some place in Zakia. We love this neighborhood, but we saw the property we like a few times. We we called our realtor to get to talk to them, and in the end, they say no, it doesn't work. That we got rejected many times. That was before we get our residence card. Now it should be much easier if we want to rent a place, any place in the Mexico. Next thing is about expats. One of the favorite topic is where is the meeting? Yes, where are the meetings? <laughs> it's like someone posted in the group. Hey, I'm available. I'm here. I'm in the restaurant. I'm in the bar. Anyone want to join me now to grab a beer? Sounds a little bit desperate to me. I really need to talk to some real people. And uh, yeah, there are not enough expats meeting in the city. There are. There are. We went to a few. We even found a business meeting every Wednesday. You don't see the post very regularly. And yeah, there are a um, young expat group. Uh, we, we never joined their meeting. It's called Young Expat Group. So, but we never really go there. And a lot of time the meetings are during the weekend and we have a little boy. So it's also not very easy for us to take a three, two year old to the meeting. It's just hard to make conversation. We prefer some meeting during the week, like for lunch, for morning coffee, uh, yeah, there are some there if you could find it. Just go to the local group, ask for ask about it, someone will answer you. <laughs> the last thing you may not like it is the distance to the beach. Sure, you choose Galetalo, you know it's far from the beach. We're really in the middle of Mexico. The closest beach we know is the Ziwadanejo and Ijitapa. That's about seven hours driving. Okay, driving, and uh, yeah, we have. I have a friend who took a bus there. She said, "Yeah, it's very bumpy. It's not the best. The road condition is not very good." But they took a bus there. Another way, then you have to fly, and uh, there are a few spots you can take the direct fly from Geledalo, which I remember is Borda Vallada, Mazatlan, Cancun. But for other beaches, you have to transfer from Mexico City. So if you choose living in Geledalo, all the flights to some major cities, not enough direct flight. Every spot you need to transfer to Mexico City. Okay, and talk about the Geledalo. Good thing is, as I also mentioned before, there are three direct flights go back to the US to Dallas, Houston, and Chicago. Other places, you need to do one stop transfer. So it's not so bad. So that's why I put it in the last thing. For most people, it doesn't bother them anyway. Sure, there are other things people may also don't like about the Geledalo. If you have something you don't like about it, I was also would like to see your comment. But don't get me wrong, you know, we love Geledalo. I love Geledalo. That's why we also bought a house there. That's why we also chose it, chose it without seeing it. And yeah, I was not a regret. I chose the city. But just like any place, there are always pros and cons. When I talk about the things I don't like about it, doesn't mean I don't love the city, right? Just like my husband. I also don't have, I also have many things don't like about him. <laughs> Just like your sponsor, you also have, have many things don't like about uh, that person, right? So, okay, so if you want to see more about our videos about Geletalo, about the Mexico life, and check the videos on the screen. So, see you next week. Bye!